AP. Oh, I would love to have a combo boost. It isn't worth sacrificing my... I... Could... No, that doesn't help it still. That's Twilight Town, so yeah. Yeah, it's Twilight Town, but still. <laughs> I sent some of my lackeys inside to see if the master of this here tower's as big and tough as they say. Word oh, is, Kai. is a real powerful sorcerer, which would make him the perfect bodyguard for me. See, it don't matter how tough he is. Once he's a heartless, he'll do as I say. Uh -huh. well, right. That's right. They're those things that come out of the darkness in folks' hearts. Why, with all those heartless at her side, my dear friend Maleficent is gonna conquer everything. And since I got me a debt to pay, I'm going round to a bunch of different worlds and building an army of heartless, special for her. Well, we already Why gotten rid of Maleficent in the last anyway. game. Go on, Scram, I'm behind schedule as it is. You ought to find something nicer to do. Oh, says who? Huh? Uh. Uh. It's you! Pete? What are you two Nimrods doing here? What are you doing here? You know him? We sure do. Pete's been causing trouble for ages. His Majesty banished him to another dimension a long time ago. I wonder how he escaped. Well, nobody <laughs> really knows. You want to know how, eh? Well. Maleficent busted me out, that's how. And now your world, no, 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 all the worlds are gonna belong to yours truly. Not Maleficent, really, Pete. Maleficent's gonna help me conquer him. Maleficent, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you laughing at? Why, Maleficent's power is so great that she's toast. Huh? Sorry, but Maleficent can't help you now. What do you mean? You! So you're the ones that did it! So you already knew that Maleficent was defeated. But you were still claiming that she was going to help you? Expecting no one else to know? I don't know. Just. Just plot holes that doesn't make any sense. It's like the worst bluff ever. You just wait. Nobody, and I do mean nobody, messes with the mighty Pete. So mighty Pete, who lives in this tower anyway? Well, you don't know, eh? Well, it's old Yen Sid. Of course, he's probably a heartless by now. Master Yen Sid lives here? Okay. Seems to be important. Yeah, for those that don't know, Yen Sid was the one in uh, Fantasia who was teaching Mickey magic. Alright, we have a chest, which gives us a Mithril Shard. And an Aether. We also have a save point, which we will uh, use, obviously. Always save when you can. Alright. So, in terms of items... I have the Champion Belt. And an ability ring. There's nothing for you there, nothing and nothing. And you have the elven bandana, which is better for you to have than for Donald. Alright. Yeah, and we start moving up this tower, which is seemingly weird and endless, or teleport. 
portal, teleportal weird. Brings us into little rooms with heartless and stars. Yeah, I know. One thing I like, the information bar up in the corner that informs you of what you need to do, when you need to do it usually. It's a bit easier on the mind if you actually take the time to check it when you see it. There we go. You have defeated all the Heartless. The door has now opened. Good for you. Use the door with the up arrow to move up. Well then, we're still getting these minuscule Heartless. Doesn't really give much XP, doesn't really take much damage. Alright, so the moon room. And there we have one of the new enemies. Or, not new for the game, but new for, for the sake of it. The nobodies are a bit harder than the heartless currently. Yeah, and remember to keep an eye out for the triangle activation button because Well, it's a good thing we're on the job then. So the worlds aren't at peace after all? Well partly maybe. Yeah, uh keep an eye out for the for the action commands because they will be a major part of this game use the triangle to do this attack to do this attack and that attack it's always important in this game Boss fights will take real use of that. Oh, hello. I am the mighty bearded, really big eyed magician with small pupils. Yes, I might look crazy, but I am powerful crazy. Have you seen the king yet? <laughs> yes, we did, master. But we didn't Look get at my beard. It's him. parted. Yes, the king has been quite busy of late. Therefore, yes. it would seem that the task of instructing you three falls I would like to have a parted beard. So I almost have two beards instead of one large. Of you. That makes me you twice as powerful well as Gandalf. Prepared. Yes. You mean we have to go on another also, quest? I have stars on my hat. It's really important to have to stars on my hat. Riku, it shows that so I'm a magician. To the islands. Yes, I know. However, everything also, look at my huge eyebrows. Yeah, connected. look at those eyebrows. Whether it's like giant hairy islands, caterpillars above my eyes. Yes. Whether you will return alone or with your friend. And whether or not the islands will still be there and the key that connects them all is you Sora no it's me I'm the key chosen wielder of the keyblade you are the key that will open the door to light or darkness. 
You never know it is. You might think it's light. Might be darkness beyond. Or the other way around. This book contains valuable knowledge you will need for your journey. Study it carefully. Ooh. Oh, do you mean to say that I need Once to read you books? Have finished, we will speak of the enemies you will surely confront. Okay. Hey, Goofy. This is a strange tower. I wonder why it was built. Adventuring rule number eight. Search every corner of a new place. I already have, more or less. We have to read this book like Master Yen said. say. We've been asleep for a while, so we need to know what's been going on. Yeah, but we need to open this chest. It has a tower map. Okay. This book describes powerful spells. All the mischief the king did years ago is recorded here. Important books. We need to save the mischief. Okay. So, what does this book say? Which will you read? The beginning. Each journey gives rise to chance encounters, and each encounter brings forth a farewell. When a farewell leads to a journey, the worlds open their hearts. There are those chosen by the light and those ensnared by darkness. Friends who share the same bonds, though their paths may differ. When you doubt the path trod thus far, when the hand you held is lost to you, gaze anew at the heart that once was, for all the answers are within. Right, I, I heard a lot of bullshit there. Yeah. There was a lot of bullshit in that. Uh, okay, next. Interlude. A long dream, a sad farewell, hanging in the air in that world between. What is reality? What is illusion? The path chosen by the young boy leads to his memories. When caught in the stream of the days and nights gone past, gaze anew at your steps, for there are all confusion will end. Right, still sounds like a load of bullshit. The future story. Will the day come when this battle born of confusion will end? It is different things to different people. Can reality be that which is hidden? The reason is mere existence. Still memories can be believed. Be not afraid and trust your body to the soothing waves of your memories. By and by your fleeting rest will be over and everything will begin. But wasn't this the end? In the end is the beginning? Or was the beginning the end? This is just surreal. That book contains important knowledge. I have read it. But wait a sec. How come the Heartless are still running around? Your past endeavors did prevent an immense effusion of Heartless from the Great Effusion. Darkness. Make no mistake about that. However, the Heartless are darkness made real. And darkness yet lingers in every heart. And will forever do? But while darkness exists in a single heart, it will be difficult to eliminate them. <sighs> Gorge, that must mean if everybody's heart was full of light, them heartless would go away. Now, it is time to speak of the enemies that you will encounter. Now that's Donald. That's a heartless. Anyone such as you, Donald, yields to the darkness in their heart. They too will become a heartless. But yes. You know this. 
The Heartless are always lurking and ever seeking to capture new hearts. Never let your guard down. Now then. At times, if someone with a strong heart and will, be they evil or good, becomes a Heartless, the empty shell they leave behind begins to act with a will of its own. Wait, what empty, empty shell? Whose heart has been stolen away. A spirit that goes on even as its body fades from existence. For you see, no bodies do not truly exist at all. No bodies may seem to have feelings, There are some principles here that they only pretend to have hearts. You must not be deceived. No Deceived. They don't exist. They do? Now then, the being you see before you is known as a dusk. They are the most common form of nobody. Yes, we have others, seen them. Some larger, some with frightening and unique powers. We have already established that. On your journey. You will meet an alarming number of dusks. They will all attempt to do you harm. Still, they are nothing but empty shells destined to return to darkness. But... The beings you see before you now are different. These powerful nobodies have formed a group called Organization 13. It commands the lesser nobodies. Organization 13. While heartless act on instinct, nobodies function in a higher manner. They can think and plan, and it seems they are working towards a goal. What that goal is, we do not know. The king sensed the danger. All right, I need to go and, and turn off forth the dryer. It. He found the Dark Realm's keyblade and with it closed the door. Now he's traveling from world to world, fighting the heartless as he seeks the answer to the riddle of the nobodies and Organization 13. Then I guess we better go find the king first. What world could he be? Well, we won't know till we look. Yeah, and the king must know where Riku is, because the two of them were together in the realm of darkness when we closed the door. You know, after defeating Ansem. So, before you go, you will need more suitable traveling. Alright, I got it shut up at least. Those look a bit too small for you. Through there, you'll find three good fairies. If you ask, they'll create for you appropriate garments. Of course, Sora. You sure are growing fast. Uh, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you were sleeping for over a year. Me, you guys, Riku, and the King. I don't care who this organization is or what it's planning. With the five of us, I mean, six of us, there's nothing to worry about, right? Yeah! Yeah! Okay, um... Let's open this, get the Mithril Stone. An image of you utilizing your strength to its fullest flows into your mind. Magic! Obtaining old powers. Oh, really? Okay, wait, what did she say? These clothes will help you only as much as your growth allows. 